And so, yeah, let's go ahead and, and jump into it and start getting into the uh, the meat of things. Our first first kind of topic, talking about the architectural patterns, um, you know, and probably jumping in here, as the card says, into uh, uh, atomic design um, within React. Anyone that kind of wants to take that away, Francisco, Giancarlos, Ivan, anyone who wants to jump into that and just kind of talk a little bit about, you know, your experience, your opinions, take it away. Well, um, I will start. Um, well, you know that uh, React is uh, an opinionated uh, relating to how you can structure your application. Um, they open the world for you and your creativity for that. Um, for some developers, it's like a really scary world because it's like, I don't know where to start or if I'm doing things right or wrong, but there is no right or wrong. It's what works best for you and for your project. So this idea is uh, one of the ideas that wants to to help uh, to to you to structure the the let's say the, the project in a way that you can see from design the uh, smaller pieces and start building a pieces together and it's like a lego you put these two together and then you have let's say like a, a better component or a component that com uh, that has different components and that is like grow from the small pieces to the bigger pieces and I don't know uh, what else uh, you want to add. Mm. Yeah, uh, so I would like to add to that. Um, so Atomic Design and React. So we take this for, for granted today since at, at least for me, I this is how I develop my components in React. Uh, I try to make them as Atomic as possible without any like, I, I always forget that the, the term that is without modifying anything outside of the component. Mm -hmm. uh, for example, if I pass some props to a component uh, or some values that I need to 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 use in, in a component, then I make sure that any that nothing changes that value. That we are just using it to to show uh, to show it to the user, to show the data to the user, and always making sure that if if we pass something to to that component, then it, it will it will always return the same thing. So that's what I say that we take this for granted today since um, a lot of developers or a lot of engineers, front-end engineers, uh, usually uh, that's how they structure they, their front-end. So I, will, I wanted to say that. Absolutely, yeah. So I see a, while well, I try to work on getting him back, I see a comment that I want to bring up. And this is a nice part about this going live um, is that we can kind of uh, put up comments, um, you know, kind of in real time. Um, so I wanted to see if, if you two can kind of take a look at this comment and see, uh, have you also uh, ha had a uh, kind of a bad experience w with atomic design on a large scale? Or is there is there things you can do on a large scale to uh, to have, you know, fewer problems? I don't know if you would like to go first, uh, Francisco, or what? Uh, well, uh, I know that uh, one of the biggest problems is dealing with media queries sometimes because uh, maybe it's a little bit hard when the component, uh, you need to set all the styles in isolation. But when you need, like for example, to, to join some different components and then start maybe some custom media queries around them, you need to create like a special, let's say, uh, it's, it's like a special templates for just single cases and maybe that that can be like tedious and that, that, that's one one of the problems I have faced uh, using this type of, of mentality um I would like to add to that in the fact that as she, as Mauricio mentioned when you are working in large in a larger scale application you tend to run into let's say you are visiting uh, a page right and then you you face in code you face like you find 12 15 components 30 components and uh, it, it, it tends to be a, a messy code mm -hmm. because uh, as the pages or as what we are trying to show uh, grows in complexity that's also reflects in the known in the amount of component that that we are trying to to include in a in a page uh, but yeah it's usually uh, tends to be messy. That's why um, what I also find as a bad experience for me. I remember one application where we have a lot of components, and I one day I was trying to to refactor the page, and it was I, I say let's leave it at that, <laughs> and I, <laughs> yeah. and, I, and, I, and I don't want to take this job. <laughs> yeah. 
Absolutely. But uh, no, I'm glad I'm glad that you guys could kind of jump in there and, and uh, answer a question in real time. Always like when that happens. <laughs>